Good evening, Philippines. Today is Friday, June 6th, and it's also non-farm payroll day. Um, so before I get started, here is the usual disclaimer. Any comments or statement made in this recorded webinar should not be taken as an order to enter trades, nor should it be, nor should it be considered as trading advice. This recorded webinar is strictly for educational purposes only, and uh, sh basically education purposes, educational purposes only to illustrate how we trade DTA's congressive system. And the past performance of DTA's congressive system is not indicative of future results. I must emphasize that I am, I am not, I am neither a licensed or professional trading advisor. I'm merely a uh, retail trader like everyone else. Again, this recorded webinar is strictly for educational purposes only. And according to, um, I have to add uh, another disclaimer here regarding the, the um, SEC Philippines. Uh, I have to advise that, you know, trading futures is illegal here in the Philippines because it's basically illegal to trade. It's not traded here in the uh, Philippine Stock Exchange. However, um, that's why it's illegal. You can't trade it if it's being tra if it's being traded in the Philippine Stock Exchange. However, since we trade uh, the futures in uh, U.S. Uh, market, U.S. Uh, basically the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or considered as a Merc, that's where we trade it. That's where it's based. Okay, it's not based here in the Philippines. Um, just like if somebody here trades uh, U.S. stocks, it's legal, but uh, they can't buy U.S. stocks here in the Philippines because it's not offered in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Okay, so with that being said, let's look at our 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 economic calendar here. We had some nice uh, economic reports that were released in big non-farm payroll, which is released every month, the first Friday of every month. It was a, a positive release. It was expect they were expecting. 175,000 increase, they got 273, so that's good. So expecting the market to go up, but you know what? What happened? The market is going down. So with that said, that's basically, that's your economic economic calendar. So we should be done with that. It occurred around 8.30, yep, uh, 8.30 Eastern, right? So that was 9.30 here. So if you look at that, that would be right here. Uh, this is the naked calendar. So looking here, 8:30, not really much to there. It went up. You see that it went up, and now as the trend is going down, it brought it back down. So now we're having um, basically a, a correction that's going on right now. Um, we have a down momentum, right? Ever since from this half, the, from the opening of this uh, overnight market right there, it's been going down consistently, going down. Um, Right now, we're going through a correction right now. Most likely, it's going to go up back to the VWAP up here, here on this area, and eventually come back down again. That's what I'm expecting. Um, so it's going to retest here, get to the retrace level between these three levels here. We'll see how that is. So right now, we'll ride this uh, correction that's going up. So now it's going back down. I'm going to test this level here. It might going to bounce back up. That's what I'm expecting, like I said. So with that said, uh, I'm trading two contracts. I'm trading the E-mini, not the micros, but the E-mini, the regular E-minis. Two contracts, so my goal is basically $200. Hopefully, we can achieve that within uh, one hour. But most likely with the volatility of the market, and we'll test that out. We'll see the volatility right now by seeing. Here, I can get this here, right here. So basically, this is how I measure the volatility from the Keltner band. Uh, that we use from there to there. That's uh, right there. Basically, is high volatility. Okay, so we should be making more than 200. The way this market is moving, if I get the right the the right trade, right. So let's me put this on mute, and I will talk to you guys later.
Um, I'm not quite done yet. Uh, you can see right there, it's around uh, down 42 bucks. So I can do maybe one more trade or two. I'm expecting this to go up. Right now it's forming a support there right now. We'll see if it's gonna break that support. So we'll wait on that.
tough today. Um, market was going up and down, more erratic behavior. But again, I know where the market was going was just depending on how it's going to get there. Uh, right there, 576. And I had a total of 13 trades. I'm trading two contracts. So you see that one. There's my first target and there's my second target. So that first, that second target was worth $800 on a trade. At least that's net. So I will end it for today. I had a great week. In fact, it was a great week for trading with the volatility and everything. Uh, again, my net is 576. My goal is to make at least 200. So we surpassed that. Um, it took a little over, let me see, 9.36, not quite one hour, close to one hour. Started at 9.36, got done at 10.26. So with that said, you guys enjoy your weekend. And here's a reminder, uh, Monday, we're headed back to, I think it's daylight savings, I don't know, daylight savings time, yeah in the States, so it's going to be falling back one hour on Monday, or technically on Sunday night. So we're going to start trading here in the Philippines at 9.30, once again, back to 9.30 p.m. So I'll be doing my webinar again on Monday, and uh, it's going to be at 9.30 p.m., okay? Like I said, enjoy your weekend. Talk to you guys on Monday. God bless.